Um, another week almost done. Um, I, I'm just waiting now for the passports to arrive in the Philippines. Um, it's also pay week next week, which for us actually marks the halfway point for our Schengen route. Um, the reason it's important is that hopefully the passports are going to be here, the, the budget's hit halfway, and then we move on to the next stage of trying to sort out what we need to do with embassies um, and start costing for budgets and stuff for Europe. Um, the interesting thing with, it, with all this is um, if you're doing the Schengen route, please make an effort to do videos like this, but even if you don't want to show them now, um, once you've completed your route, please upload them and share them. Um, the main thing is keeping a video diary for other people um, because the government's not going to help us. Um, the only people that are going to help us is people like me and you, where we understand the complications of um, where we're let down by our own governments and also starting a new life. It's, it's all part and parcel of people in the, our situation. Um, I'm a bit concerned about the um, economies at the moment though because Germany has just been um, starting to get grilled over its banking which will no doubt be the next one to find holes in its finances um, and devalue some of its stock um, but at the same time I think we're good to go as soon as, as, soon as the I get the rest of the budget together and all the paperwork's in process and it, it's getting there. Um, you know, I would say right now it's not, it's not too stressful at the moment. If anything, I'm a bit bored um, because I'm, you know, I like things to move forward uh, at a pace much faster than this. Um, Right, right now I'm going through the motions. I'm busy with work anyway, um, but it, it, it's hard to explain. I suppose, I suppose the easiest thing to say is if when you're working it's nice to come home to your family, your wife and your kids and whatever. When you work hard all week and come home to, you know, okay I'm questioning my parents, but you're not stopping with your wife's and your kids, you're not spending the weekends with the kids, you're not coming home to your wife's cooking and that sort of stuff. Um, it's, it's quite hard being this far away. Also, relationship wise, you get online when you can because of the time difference. But all in all, we're getting there. I'm not, I'm not grumbling. Um, cause, but I'll tell you why I don't grumble. It's, we're in a much better position than many people. Um, I have a very good job. I work for a company that I've worked for for many years on and off. I've got a normal contract, but this year they took me on permanent. Um, I can't grumble, you know, because the thing is, I know a lot of people that are in worse situations. They don't fall in, they fall under the 18,600 18, threshold where I'm well above it, it's just that I don't have the bank statements, I don't have the pay slips, because I don't I don't want to sit here for 6 to 12 months while um, my family is stuck abroad because of the bloody UK immigration rules. Um, I'd much rather get them into Spain um, and sort out our lives from there, whether I commute from Spain into the UK or wherever I'm needed, because the company I work for is international, or I turn around and say, right, we'll, we'll go into Spain for a few months and then head back to the UK. Third option being, we open a restaurant or something in Spain and stop. With um, five years tax-free, I think we, it might be a good option to open a business in Spain because the UK economy is recovering. Um, yes, I know it's false, um, but at the same time, you only need a certain time period for the holiday makers not to pick up, make enough money to get yourself ahead in life, and let the politicians worry about all the problems they create. Anyway, 
This is my latest video. Okay, thanks for watching.